Coach, great game out there. Really took care of business in this exhibition game. Uh, just talk about some of your impressions and watching your girls play out there for the first time against another team. Well, let me say this first of all, okay? This, this was probably our best offensive performance since I've been here at Tennessee State University, I think. And uh, uh, I thought our defense was part of that. I uh, thought it created a lot of offense for us. I thought we pushed the ball well. I thought we were very unselfish, played very unselfish. And, uh, you know, we didn't do as well after I looked at the stats here as I felt like we could have or should have in some things, you know. But, but uh, knowing that's the first game and to do what we did and, you know, we backed out of our press, I think, with like 10 minutes to go in the game or something. So, you know, just to say we didn't, we didn't press the whole game, whatever, we still showed that we forced, uh, what, 40-something turnovers. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that in itself is an accomplishment. I'm always proud of the defensive end because I think it creates our, our offensive opportunities. And, and to get that kind of start and see great play out of Sam and Chelsea and uh, Jada had a great game tonight. We said all around, guards played well. Inside, outside, you know. It, but the biggest difference I thought tonight, Bree, and this won't be a lot in the stats, but Bree, uh, Bree Lawrence had a ton of steals early in the, the, the first half and the second half. And uh, Amani had several. And, uh, of course, uh, uh, Ray Ray just had her normal game. She's very played very hard. Uh, and uh, just uh, top to bottom, it was, it was a great effort tonight. Yeah, you guys um, really did well with that press. Uh, what have you guys been pushing in practice as far as man-to-man um, -man defense and getting those steal opportunities like that? Yeah, we, we did, I mean, and we do that. We work every day in some phase of defense, and uh, we worked on our presses. We worked on our half-court sets, our half-court defense. We work a ton, really, on our half-court the defense with our shell drills and other things. And, and uh, I think it's helped us a lot in our half-court situation and even in a full-court situation, don't you guys, of what we're doing. And, and I thought we showed that tonight, you know, where we, we helped each other so much a lot of times. You know, when somebody get beat, we picked it up and, and just uh, you couldn't see. They didn't get a lot of good looks uh, the second half. Now, the first half, I didn't think we played the, the, the normal TSU defense, the Lady Tiger defense. The second half, we brought on the Lady Tiger defense and left that at whatever that defense was called the first half. We left that at home, okay? And I thought we did a great job. I'm, I'm very proud of our kids. I'm very proud of the effort and the attitude they showed tonight and what they did. Good deal. Chelsea had a terrific game in this exhibition. Um, uh, really a great overall game. What did you see uh, from your team? Like, just develop how you guys, I mean, you're really getting out there to play another team. You guys have been yeah, playing each other finally. for such a long time. <laughs> yeah, um, I think one thing I can definitely see from being here, um, this time last year, if we had an open shot, whether it was a layup or a jump shot, we couldn't hit the backboard. And I think this year, one thing that has really improved all around is our shooting. Um, hitting open shots, guards coming off of pick and rolls, making the right reads, hitting the post. Or, um, I really commend because I love being a post. Um, high low action was really good. Um, that's how you have like the great freshman we have here, Sam Palmer. Um, got a lot of points. Just the energy. Uh, yeah, we did kind of start off slow, but I would say definitely our shooting and um, pressure. Uh, we got a lot of calls, some fouls, but coaches emphasizing as well as Coach Laco, um, get up in them quick, and if the refs, you know, call, then adjust afterward. You know, last year it was like we would, you know, react. This year I think we're a little bit more proactive in regards to pressure and being aggressive. So those two. You kind of alluded to it, especially Sam having a good game. There's a couple others <laughs> having a good prodigy. game. She's my prodigy. What did you really see uh, from the newcomers? And you see them in practice all the time, but how? What did you see from them facing another team, and what really impressed you? Um, I really have uh, like how they came in, and every one of them that came in was ready. We all probably had nerves. We all probably were, even me, you know, being a redshirt senior, I still get nervous, but. Uh, once Sam and the others settled in, they really just, you know, you can't really t teach someone to play basketball. They just went for what they knew. Um, and that's what most freshmen are. When you called upon, be ready. And each one of them, when they were called upon from um, Sam to MJ, every last one of them were ready when called on. So, And we could definitely use that this year. It just makes our depth that much more better. Right. And that brings us to you, Sam. <laughs> Sammy had a terrific game. Uh, team high 17 <clears throat> points. and. I mean, exhibition ashing, sure, but it's got to be great to get out on the floor and have that kind of a performance. I mean, 
I'm, it's a blessing. I mean, and the only way I could have done it is with my great teammates and my great coaches because, I mean, I couldn't have picked a better group of girls to, you know, go to war with and fight with them. And to be honest, it's the teamwork that really brought us to where we are. This game was a statement, and it wasn't, you know, just one. It was all of us together, so. Absolutely. What do you take away from this game, getting you ready, uh, especially for a big-time game this Friday against uh, North Carolina State? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I think – it really it's going to help us with just our teamwork and getting you know things settled in so we don't come out with the same kind of slow start that we did today against NC State. Um, other than that, I mean, it's just going to it's just going to get us in the flow. We're going to be able to um, you know execute better. We know how to read each other more. Just getting into the swing of things. So, how did the pace of play feel coming from high school <laughs> up to this level? <laughs> I mean, I thought I was ready in practice, but I got out there and I was huffing and puffing and I was like, <laughs> it's a whole another level. But I mean, it's good because I like to play fast and I think coach agrees like we like to play fast. And so I think that's going to be where we can have an advantage on other teams going into the season when we push the ball. Absolutely. We're bringing back to coach, got to play pretty much everybody out there. What kind of value do you see getting to roll the whole team out there right before <clears throat> A big match against. I, I think exposure, like Sam said, you know, she got to play a lot tonight, which was very good for her. I think it was a realization that she can play at this level, and I think her older kids, I think, was right there helping them along, and they were there supporting our folks was out there. But the big thing is just getting that PT while they're out there in a competitive nature. They beat up on each other day after day. Now they went out there tonight, and they got to beat up on some other folks in a very uh, successful way and uh, take a lot of things back from that. It's not going to be that easy. We know that every game. But uh, it was great to start that way. And to me, if you're going to start a race, I'd like to stay, you know, get out there in front and stay there. And I thought that's what we did, you know. And it took us a little bit to kind of get the rust off and, and get going, but, you know, because we were nervous a little bit, I think. And we had too many turnovers first half. But these are things that are correctable. And we learned from that tonight. We'll correct the things we did wrong. We'll go back tomorrow, we'll talk about them tomorrow, and uh, we'll continue, and then hopefully when we get to NC State, it's going to be a different club. They're like going to be an awful good team. We know that going in, but our kids are playing with confidence. That's a very positive thing to take with us where we're going, you know. And uh, so, you know, we're, we're not going to take them lightly, but, but uh, you know, I think our kids are, are approaching that point where they feel like that, that they can make some noise, and uh, I'm hoping we can do that this weekend. Hey, Coach, I've got one question for you. Um, just kind of building on that, you had a situation last year, you had an opportunity to play Tennessee Temple. You guys won by about 24 points. This year, you guys obviously beat them by 52. You have 11 freshmen and sophomore out there. Kind of, you know, talk about the progression from last year to even this year and just where you feel the program is. Well, I, I tell you, the biggest thing, and I've, I've said this all along, is, is our depth. You know, I mean, from top to bottom, how much did you see us lose going when we subbed and went different kids, you know, in and out? And, and the, the great thing is we got these veteran players that are experienced and, and they know, you know, which will teach Sam and some of these other people in, in a pressure situation how to respond to it, you know. And, uh, but the thing is, we got to go out there tonight and put it all together. And, and I think from, from our standpoint, I thought it was the depth. I thought that was a difference. We had different kids doing different things. Uh, some of them inside, some of them outside. Some we didn't know what they was going to do, okay? And, and they showed up tonight and really, really uh, did a good job. I'm, I'm Like I say, I can't say enough good things about them tonight. This question is actually for both uh, Chelsea and Samantha. Um, it, it, Coach, you just key, you know, had a key word of you know, keeping the speed up you know, when you guys kept changing uh, throughout the whole lineup. I mean, uh, Chelsea, more so coming from the senior side, you know, how nice is it to, to see that the, the pace stays up and while you're trying to catch a breath, you know, catch a breath on it, yeah. and then be ready to come back out there as well. And then Samantha, kind of when it gets to you, kind of talking about keeping that, you know, the, maybe not the pressure, but you know, the idea of keeping that pace up and trying to keep uh, pressure on the opposing team. Um, it's it's just about a standard, um, and I love how we can switch it up where I don't have to play 30, you know, in the long run, we have, what, a 30-game season. So to be able to cut minutes from 30 last year to maybe 20 or 25, that those five minutes really do help 
your body when you get to those OVC champion games and you know those those games. Um, so being able as a veteran, being able to rest, you know, I'm old now, like I can't do what I used to, but being able to not have a slack or not have a difference, um, being on the bench, being able to cheer and know and have every confidence, all the confidence in the world and people like Sam or the other freshmen, it's a great feeling and that's where that's how championships are won. Not just your first one through five, but your one through eleven, one through twelve. And if all of us are working and getting better and striving to be great every day, then we really, as a team, are unstoppable. You can't just say, "I'm going to stop Chelsea," because you have to stop Chelsea, Sam, TT. You have to stop everybody on the roster, top to bottom. And that's a great feeling as a team. I mean, when she said standard, I think she's exactly right because it's. It's not just about, you know, the first five, you know, wanting to do well, but like when we go through the lineup, we want to do not well, not only for ourselves, but we don't want to let each other down. Mm -hmm. So it just builds the team, like the closest that we have, I think really helps because it, it builds, you know, kind of that team aspect and we're really able to, you know, get it for each other. It's not just for ourselves. Hey, Dale, Coach, Chelsea, Sam. Really appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you.